Hello Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well wherever you are. Um, Pisces, I'm doing this reading for you on the uh, 30th of December. Um, so the, the new year is rapidly approaching. So I've decided to do this, um, a new year reading for you, covering the 1st, 2nd and 3rd of January 2021. Let's see what the energies um uh, want to say to you. I've selected three pack of cards. They're all pre-shuffled um, and the energy card, this is about um, reflection and review over for 2020. So what's having a look at and considering what's gone um, over the last year. Um, and then the psychic tarot, this is about focusing on, you know, what are you focusing on, on the here and now um, at this time? What is it that is on your mind or you're thinking about? Um, and then the Oracle of Angels going forward. What is it that the new year is going to be bringing in for you to consider um, or have a think about going forward? All right, so I'll just do a final shuffle of the energy cards. And the energy cards are the, the only pack that I actually will read a reversal if a reversal comes out. So they've already been swirled and shuffled, pre-shuffled. So we'll see, see what the energy cards are. Um, are identifying as something that uh, some of you um, Pisces are reflecting on. Um, it is a general reading Pisces so it will re perhaps resonate with some of you more more than others uh, a greater a greater or lesser degree. So, um, so first of all we've got the Sun okay and woman holding a coin okay and that's reversed. The Sun is upright so which is always a positive sign so um, a woman holding the coin is reversed, so we'll have a look at that. So a final shuffle of um, the psychic tarot. What are you thinking about in the here and now? What's going on for some of you for um, the, the here and now? Let me just do that one again. Okay. So we have foundation and achievements. And we have discontent and boredom. Hmm, interesting. Just put those out of the way. And then a final shuffle of the Oracle of Angels to see where we're going in, into as we head into 2021. What are the energies that are, are going to be coming in for you, Pisces? Okay, so we have inner peace. And we have transformation. Lovely. Lovely energies. Okay, Pisces, let's have a look. Now, um, well, this is what you're reflecting on. This is um, reflecting on events, um, energies throughout uh, 2020 and how they have, um, uh, and what, what their meaning is for you. Well, we have the sun. Um, the most optimistic and joyful and happy card in, in tarot. Um, a very energizing, warming, um, beautiful energy. So this is something you are um, thinking and reflecting on that I feel you you feel, for some of you Pisces, you feel that, you know, you have been very uh, fortunate throughout 2020, that you feel, you know, the sun has been shining on you, warming you, energizing you. Um, and, and, and providing a bounty. So, you know, um, feeling very fortunate, really. So this is what you're reflecting on. And um, and then there's, a, there's a, a card here, which is the woman holding a coin. Now, if this is upright, this would be about um, money coming in, um, perhaps money being delivered. Well, we've got the woman holding the coin here. So, I mean, this could represent yourself. It doesn't have to be gender specific. Um, it could be representing yourself, bringing money in, earning money, bringing money in. For others of you, this could be um, somebody around you or somebody else or an organisation or a work, for example, that um, bring income in into the house, bring money in or offer money or a gift. Uh, but it was reversed. So um, this is suggesting that although there has, there's been um, a lot of sunshine for you energetically throughout um, 2020, and money has been, um, 
the money the money the income um the abundance so far as money is concerned um hasn't been on the same trajectory so although there's been a lot of success for you for some of you pisces it hasn't actually brought in a lot of money and and and, and I, for some of you i think um that's what you're reflecting on um you know how to how to get this card upright for example all right so Perhaps, you know, for, for, for some of you that are at work, that are depend upon your income, um, then perhaps that's been reduced. Your income over 2020 has been reduced or been problematic for you, for some of you. Okay. So what are you focusing on in the here and now? Well, we have foundation and achievement. So, yeah, so linking in with um, the Sun card here. Um, what you've been reflecting on well in the here and now you're still you've still got that energy so within um, you feel you know you the stability security um, enough coming in abundance we've got the rainbow over the house the family home um, so having enough and having the roots securely down um, prosperity um, so, you know, although, you know, you're thinking and, fo you know, focusing on that now, perhaps feeling quite fortunate um, for some of you within your current um, situation. Um, and also, so far as, you know, family and close family are concerned, perhaps that feeling of that you've all got rainbows over your homes and sunshine, right? So that's lovely. Now, the other, but the other card that you're thinking about is something about discontent and boredom. Um, now, this is from the heart part of the deck. Um, so I feel there's something going on concerning um, what's meaningful for your heart that is not, um, perhaps not uh, working out for you as well as it perhaps should do or could do, considering the other card, which was about, you know, solid foundation and achievements. Um, but for some of you, there's there's some form of a discontent here. You see the, the man dressed well, he's in, he looks like he's in a castle, but he's been looking across at the other castle and, and the landscape and probably wishing that he was over there, if you like, So, and that he's turning back into his own, you know, but he's, he's not aware of the rainbow colours that are coming in, that are all around. And I'm, I'm that's interested, as I'm speaking, we've got the rainbow still on show from the other card. And it looks like those rainbow colours coming through. So lots of um, success, achievements, good solid foundations within the home environment. For some reason, though, for some of you, there's something about what's important for your heart. Could be to do with love and relationships or something else, a different energy. But there's a level of um, discontent um, for some of you within this situation. That, that 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 prevents you from from actually seeing and and being able to perhaps appreciate the beautiful rainbow colors that are around you and appreciating what you have have actually got um around you and that's not a criticism to you pisces it, it's just how um when we have this energy it's just how yeah how it is isn't it and um, when there's a little bit of a dark cloud over us we can't see so clearly can we and feel so clearly but this is just for some of you, Pisces. Um, and if we look at the cards that are sort of um, next to each other, with the woman um, holding a coin reverse, so something, you know, money being held back or reduced, if you like, that could be it. Could be there's a could be a level of connection there for some of you, you know. Whatever this is, if, if there's a level of meaning, being meaningful, if work is meaningful for your heart, whatever you're doing and wherever you're doing that, um, it could be because um, this card is reversed, then that's what's creating this level of discontent and boredom for some of you. All right, so a bit of a, a mixture of energies really here, haven't we? We've got very, very positive energies, but there's also something, there's also something rumbling um, underneath the skin of this um, for some of you um, I don't feel it's anything serious I don't get that I don't get it that it's serious it can't be because of the positivity of the other two cards but it's just something 
just something. Now going forward into 2021, um, we have more of an inner peace. So you can see the beautiful archway um, with the beautiful bright light, universal bright light. We've got the fairies or the little angels all around um, going into the, the beautiful tree of life. So they're going to be you're going to have more inner peace. Um, 2021 is going to bring um, a more um, relaxed state, being more um, at, at ease and and uh, peaceful with with what you're doing, with where you are, um, within yourself. I feel within yourself, more of an inner peace within yourself. And um, and and the reason for this is that the transformation going on with some of you Pisces. Um, there's um you're changing um and i feel it's a very spiritual energy um we can see here the 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 universal light um that and and the transformation from um the earthbound energy to a, a higher more spiritual energy it's almost like an ascension if you like to a higher level for some of you it's like a rebirth almost a rebirth um beautiful energy and we see lots of butterflies here which are symbols of transformation and and i feel because of this beautiful spiritual transformation that's happening for you is going to be bringing in more inner peace for you pisces for some of you beautiful beautiful energies all right um i'm just going to um ask for one more message for you pisces to round this reading up I have one more message, please, for Pisces, for the new year. 1st, 2nd and 3rd of January. One more message for Pisces, please. All right, Pisces. Stay focused, hold your course, hold the course, don't waver, don't stop what you're doing, whatever it is you are doing, keep at it, you know, whatever, whatever these two cards mean for you, right, don't let you, don't be discouraged, don't be dis discouraged because remember these energies these energies are also yours, right? And coming in for you in 2021, greater inner peace and transformation. And that will happen because of you staying focused. Carry on. Keep at it. Don't give up. Keep focused. You see the magician here or the magical person. He's got his telescope looking up at the universe. All right. So hold the course. You're on track, Pisces. You're on track. Don't be discouraged. That's a lovely final message for you, isn't it? As we come to the end of 2020. Brilliant. Lovely. I've really enjoyed this reading. Lovely reading for you, Pisces. Lovely energies. All right. Well, listen, good luck going forward um, into the new year. And... Um, Thank you so much for joining me and um, I hope you can join me again in the future and um, take care now. Bye bye.